Generic greetings and welcome back once again to June Spice Wars. Today's beverage is a very nice red bush tea or rooibos as it is otherwise known. Either way, welcome back to June Spice Wars and indeed a new series. Previously we played through as the Fremen and did some worm riding, some raiding and indeed some assassinations I believe and I very much enjoyed uh, making that because well I'm really into this game. I've got over 50 hours on it and it's still in early access so that probably tells you what I feel about the game. It wasn't the most popular series but well uh, the people that really enjoyed it really enjoyed it so I'm more than happy to continue playing I really enjoy playing myself I like to uh, champion the game I think it's a really good thing and well let's jump in and we'll do a series and I guess also the time recording there's a relatively new update out which is all about air and space so we have lots of new units all of them flying uh, different buildings more like sort of legendary buildings new well improved AI a new combat system for ranged and just loads of new stuff and also since we did that last playthrough as well there's been a new faction added which is house carino as well as things like the chome exchange and just more stuff which is always good to see anyway over to single player here and we're going to go for a battle for arrakis and we have the house atreides house harkonnen the smugglers the fremen which is what we played previously and house carino which is what we're going to be playing in this series so House Carino. Imperial House Carino has ruled the galaxy for 10 millennia and Shaddam IV intends to keep it that way. The situation on Arrakis calls for the direct intervention of the Emperor, who will use all of his wit and the might of his administration to turn the war to his benefit. Sounding very selfish here this playthrough already, but there you are. We can use Imperial Edicts on Landstrad resolutions to switch the scope. We have a diplomatic action of Imperial Mandate, which replaces Tribute and is unlocked from the start. We have one free building slot on villages, that could be useful. However, we have 100% authority cost to annex villages due to the distance from the main base. So essentially you have to play tall rather than wide, or you, well, drop another spaceship down because you can use main base deployment on neutral villages once so you can have two of the main base which is exceptionally powerful. We have two four, uh, two or four councillors to pick so we have uh, when Issaka Carino uh, centralised industry can build economic buildings twice or increase well, that also increases salary upkeep on buildings by 20%. We've got Captain Arisham experimental hierarchy reduces infantry costs by 30% and power by 30. Oh, I thought that increased power by 30, but no, it does imply, yeah, it just reduces infantry costs and power, so it implies that it is reduced. So you can do a bit of a spam army then, as much as you can with <laughs> um, with uh, the set of cars, which we won't get into late game anyway. But yeah, one initial training slot, and I guess the health would be the same. So interesting. Also, arm would be the same as well. Princess Aurelian. Political supremacy can spend Solari to cancel negative resolutions and can use diplomatic investment on other factions' villages, so that's helping others out. And finally, Fenring, all-seeing eye, can resolve discoveries with agents anywhere, that's pretty good. And minus 100% intel production for enemy agents assigned to House Carino. Oh, that's really good. So they're not going to get uh, intel, okay. Uh, we're going to go with them to stop spying. And I'm going to rule out them. Aram Sham. Don't want them. Do you want political supremacy or centralised industry? Centralised industry. Yeah. Can build some economic buildings twice, but increases salary upkeep. Again, going tall rather than wide. So settings are going to be default. Let's have a look at those. Medium map size. Sandworm activity normal. Storm activity normal. Siege hostility normal. Uh, we've currently got And what victory you've got turned on? All of them. Domination, hegemony, political and economic. Previously won by domination, we destroyed everybody. Assassinations are enabled, so we can be assassinated and indeed can assassinate other people. The people on the... People on here, we've got Atreides, Harkonnens, no, Atreides, Smugglers and Fremen. I wanted to make sure, at minimum, we had the Fremen, but we also have the Smugglers, and Atreides. Do we want to swap the Atreides for the Harkonnens? Hmm... I don't think it much matters. Obviously the, the Atreides could go... 
not as aggressive, whereas the Harkons are probably going to be aggressive. Yeah, let's spice it up a little bit. I'm not saying the Atreides aren't aggressive, but they can they lean towards more diplomatic approaches just because of their abilities. Harkonnens, not so much. Mm. Start game. Let's go with that. So we'll load in and see what we've got. Whoa! So there's the ship, which looks awesome. So there's our ship that lands. That's our main base. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so auto recon on for our ornithopters. We're going to build another ornithopter. We're going to build infantry and we'll have a ranged one as well. So we have been positioned on the far eastern side of the map. We also have our ornithopter, which is now scouting about. And let's see what the deal is. We have a northern point, which is wind strength 4. Spice fields as well, which is good. We have also now the Chorm Market, which is not yet open. It opens in, opens in 30 days. And Guild Favor, which Guild Favor uh, serves from the Space and Guild. Requires for the deployment of spaceships. And Crown Guild Favor is expensive. Yes, indeed. I've uh, not actually... I've never... I've never bought them. So I've played this faction once or twice. They have infantry, ranged infantry, incinerators, which also... That ignores armor. Artillery drones. And the Sadaka, which are really powerful. Executioner. Executes enemies under 20% health. <gasps> Very powerful indeed. But we also have two other units. We have the Hammer and the Kronos, which is, well, big ship. <laughs> anyway, uh, just finishing off the ranged infantry. I think we could probably just go in and take this anyway, which is 55%. Yep, and what have we got up here? It is a harvester wreck. We can send military units to go and have a look at it. Let's go on for auto recon for this thing and scout about. There's attacking over on the right hand side, so we're going to take this thing. We have we have a stockpile. Let me go ahead and grab that. Actually, I want to just grab it for the for the spice. So we're attacking over here. We're. Uh, melee units and they have ranged units range units suffer oh these are panicking yeah or have panic suffer panic under 50 percent health and they're also ranged melee units only 50 percent damage suffers pinned down while engaged so we are at an advantage when we are meleeing them like that so going across the desert here not obviously the ideal place in arrakis <laughs> but needs must we're going to grab that and get ourselves some more spice well, it looks like we've managed to take out one of these units. It's taking longer than I thought, which again could be the latest update. Barracks. Customise the gears of House Carino. Military units. Requires a barracks. That's new as well to me. Cool. Fun's going to be finding out. This is losing supply, which because we're in the desert, that's fine. Once we've done this, we'll quickly run over here. We should be able to get there without great incident. I think. We are listening. That's completed. We're going to get them moving because they are losing health. Let's resolve that by getting 120 spice. We are having to hand over 400 in guild fees. So we should be okay. We've defeated the enemies over here. So we're going to start capturing that building. Uh, that village, should I say. This village has secret holders. Plus one data center limit and 20% data center resource output. Ooh. That's good. Managed to get the range unit as well on the hard standing. And they're slowly going to level up... Uh, or refill their gear as well. We have an abandoned Fremen camp here. We can send military units to investigate, and that would give us some plast crete, which we're going to do. This is now uh, completed, so we're going to go straight away refinery, and we'll place it there once again on the hard standing. Uh, this guy, where is it? Can't select them. There we go. <laughs> send them over there. We'll go and grab that. Going to pause it here while we've got new village controlled, which is fine. And new research. So, we have Megalopolis. Ally villages neighboring the Imperial base get 20% resource production and extra militia health. Unlocks the crafts workshop building. Solid materials. It is building construction costs are reduced. And we could go survival train. There's many different ways we could go with this one. I think 
the earlier you get solid materials, the cheaper it's going to be. We'll go with that, and then we'll go with Necropolis. We'll stick with that one. I would also very much like some militia here. But, well, we don't have really the readies for that. Looks like we've got a deep desert here on the left-hand side, so that's a bit of a defence. Naturally, we're going to be capturing here, 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 and just around us. That is the objective, anyway, to capture around us. I'm going to bring these back to the centre. We'll probably go for this left one first. That's wind three on, that's wind five. But well, we've got wind four up here. Wind is for when you're capturing uh, the water. When you use water collectors. That's now done. There's a reward of some plastcrete. Very nice. More scouting there, which is good. And... Can we take this one? 56 we can. And we need 5 water and we've got 6. So it's not ideal, but at least we will get minerals. Let's see we get on. At the moment, <laughs> House Harkonnen is double the points of anybody else. What have they done to get that? <laughs> Whatever they're doing, they're doing it correctly. There's our spice harvester, we're going to deploy that. We're also going to go straight away for... Um, these are these are major buildings, you know, a bit once per faction. I'm going to go with a water collector. So there's a water collector on the go. They're shooting over there, which is fine. That's alright there. We don't... Well, I would like to buy something else, but we can't really afford to do that. Because that's going to use some more water. Anyway... And they're shooting there. Looks like we're going to be able to take that without any great incident. Oh, what's this? The Moon Dew Veil. It's 20 supply and 1,000 hedge money for taking it. Well, that might be nice to take. Well, it's definitely not. It's definitely a nice thing to take. Let me grab this. But will we be able to take it? We will, just not very quickly. So we're grabbing this on the left. This has strong-willed manpower production per statecraft building. Oh, and we have an ornithopter turn up from the smugglers. So the smugglers are potentially quite close. Oh, they could have just spammed it across the map <laughs> to try and, uh, try and get here as fast as possible. This is now built, and we're going to go for plastcrete production. <laughs> we can actually put it all, we can put it all the way back here, <laughs> interestingly. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna do that and we'll get these guys back in. We could go and raid this area. It is possible. I don't know if it's desirable, but it's possible. We over here can build a data center, which will increase our intel production, and we can get an additional one if we wanted to. We've also got plastic reproduction, fuel cell production. Processing plant will be good oh, for here. And naturally, water extractor, that's for the middle. Spice silos, plus 20% spice production. We can't get that there. I genuinely think we're going to go with a data center. We'll lean into that, that bonus. We're not going to go with two. That's just not going to happen. Over here, then. That's okay. Plus one manpower production per statescraft building. So, okay, we could pretty spam statescraft buildings. Um... Interesting. Intersecting data. Plus two intel production when the village has at least one building of each type. So we can do a mix and match. This is resources from pillaging the village, or former smugglers. Pillaging a village. Uh, okay, I think it's actually going to be this one we'll go for. Because we can have one of each. It's got wind strength four. Oh, we have an unsigned agent. Straight away, Arrakis. Just so we can then do things like that. And research complete for solid materials. That's good. So this is now complete. We can go with another Plascrete factory. Because we can double down on buildings. Because of her. Oh, my mistake. Research is... I thought that was complete. It's both complete. Alright, okay. That changes things. We've got survival training. We've got thumper mastery, a paracompass... I'm going to go with Paracompass simply because it increases 
uh, well, minus 30% daily supply drain, which is good. And also, extra speed. For our... Our ships. I'm going to build another one. I'm going to build a third on on Thopter. And we don't have the crew to put on that. Okay. Fair enough. In 12 days, the Chome market will open up. And we'll take a look at that. Also, three days, the council will start to vote. I'm currently third. But I'm not going to worry too much over the score just yet. Construction complete back here. That's for the data center. So that's good. And raid detected. So there must be a siege around here. So it's heading towards this. We don't have any people here, like militia. And that's not really a problem because we're so close to the main base anyway. So we'll just bring these guys back over. Oh, can I shoot these as well? I believe I can. With ranged units. Yeah, there you go. We can shoot it. <laughs> Ornithopters previously were... Well, you couldn't target them. Oh. That's good. The Imperial base is uh, shooting as well. <laughs> the Imperial base was shooting. Alright. I think we've pretty much... Pretty much dealt with them. And there they go. Just going to pause a second. We'll have a look at the Landstrad Council vote. So, we have Landstrad Council support. Uh, elected faction gains three Landstrad guards. Diplomatic committee. All faction gains statecraft development speed and uh, production by 50%. Or all factions impose a four Solaris per positive water tax. I'm going to vote myself for the Landstrad guard. And I'm going to put 120 votes in, plus an extra 80 in influence. And I don't want the water regulation, but I only put 30 in that. And that should do us. Alright, that's fine. There is our Ornithopter. I'm going to send that again to scout around. And our units are going to capture... We need 63, we already have 44. Do I just raid? If we pillage that, it'll t it'll be harder to take later on. Is that Mount Idaho? It is Mount Idaho. Nice. An abandoned Imperial station. Ooh. Rehabilitate the station. Spend 2,000 plus Crete. That will give us statecraft and expansion development speed. Or... We can investigate the station, but we're still investigating with our spy there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna raid this. We're gonna raid it. There's some more buildings. They've only got two population each one. Oh, that looks <laughs> that looks excellent. So that's the new missile system. There we go. It launches three out the top, and it's firing that <laughs> firing that <laughs> that unit. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Anything over here that we want to build? We could build another data center. Over here. Water, but it's only three, so you get four water. No, three water for each wind. It's not very good. I think we want to go for a fuel cell factory, maybe? No. Let's go for... Knowledge, intel... Resource production, but that would be minus one authority, and we really don't want to be doing that. I'm going to go for a research hub. Because that'll also give us manpower. So, we're going to pillage this. That's just going to give us straight up Solari. We are about to hand in some... for well, 400 spice. I'm not touching the Landsred Council there. That's now been pillaged. Point of interest is now investigated. We'll do that. And then over here. We're going to investigate the station to give us authority and influence. And there is now a retrofitted ornithopter. Guild fees have been paid. Next time it's going to be 591. 
Research complete for Paracompass. Imperial taxes. That'd be nice. Uh, military units gain power for each activated mandate. Extra knowledge pair complete a district. Oh, Imperial bases gain long reach airfield. That's really good. An appeal administration. 10% resource production of allied villages within four more buildings of the same type. So we can spam one building. Interesting. Outrageous wealth. <laughs> I'm just checking any of the ones that have our symbol here. Hmm. 5% unit power per faction with less charm shares. We'll see that in a bit. And influence. Emperor's eyes. Oh, yes. Fills three counterintelligence slots with unmovable Emperor's Eye agents. Agents assigned to opposing factions produce extra intel. I'm going to do that. And go through it. That's a lot of research. But. Better infiltration. Agent slots. And minor houses deliver a dump box near the base every 20 days. So again, the earlier that we get that. Oh, we can get guild favour as well. Oh, that's the way to, that's the way to go. I should probably be going... <laughs> Uh, is that the way to go? Maybe. It's where we're going to go. It's where we're going to go. Right. Let's get back. We'll heal up. Then we'll see if we can take this. Yes, we can. And we'll have one of each building over there. Because then we get intel production of the villagers. At least one building of each type. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Back here. I don't think we... Can we get another wind trap? Let's try it. Ready. We can get another wind trap if we do so desired. And... <laughs> there's all the Landstrid Guard. I think we managed to get that. So, how's Carino? Yes. How close were we? Yeah, there was no one else really close to that. However, there's been taxes imposed on spare water. And... Statecraft development complete. <laughs> statecraft's going up by 50%. Well, good job we're doing all the statecraft stuff. The smugglers have sent a request. They want 800, well, pretty much all of our plastcrete. And they're going to give us some salari. And they'll have a non aggression pact. I'm declining. Not declining the non aggression pact per se. I'm totally up for that. But I'm certainly declining the. I should probably get these guys. Well together. Certainly declining the handing over all of our plast grade. We'll There's an uninside agent. Gonna assign them to Spacing Guild, yes. For now. So at the moment I'm gonna I'm gonna send more money over to Well basically selling it. I'm gonna sell some sell more of our our spice. So this should not take long. Not only have we got our units, we've got the Landstrid Guard, and we've got this thing shooting as well. And we'll capture that. Oh, look at that. There's our Ornithopter as well. Damaged. And it came from down there. Alright. Curious. Curious. So we're taking over that. This one, we've got the Research Hub. I am going to get... Do you want a recruitment office? That's new village controlled. We're going to go with... Manpower production. We'll head back. Because we still haven't got... We've only got one of these harvesters. We are also lagging a bit behind. I said military units to investigate to get a scavenged ornithopter. Don't fancy that. I think what we'll do here is... Do we need a missile launcher? No, range wouldn't cover the other areas, so there's no real point in that. 
Texas State Statecraft Resource Production and Manpower Statecraft. We're going to go with. We've already got a research hub. Going to go with more Intel. And I can place it at the back there. <laughs> They're keeping out the way because if this ever gets attacked, I mean, if that's getting attacked, then it's potentially game over. But, uh, yeah. I just think it would be best to have it closer there. Chome Market is now open. So this is not n brand new to the game, but certainly it wasn't in when we last played. So this is Chome Shares. Um, if you get 50%, you win. And you can buy and sell, basically. We already have 30. Harkonnen have 15. Minor houses have 838. <laughs> they control 84% of that. And the price will fluctuate. I don't know why someone went over the top here and some on the other one. I'm attacking this, by the way, just to... Just to... Pillage it, basically. So that's building there. That's almost on manpower enough to put another person in the... Yeah, another, yeah, there we go. Add crew. So we've added crew to the harvester. Over here, then. Do you want to double down on data centers? Problem with that is, again, upkeep. And we're sending loads back. But then we are being taxed. How much? Quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's pillage that. Let's have... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's center that. There you're up. There's our manpower production. We're going to go with extra fuel cells. No, because that'll use Solari as well. Plastcrete, because it only takes, well, its own resource. That's been pillaged, so we'll come back. This one is devastated, and you can see plus 30% authority to annex. So it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Point of interest investigated. That's going to increase authority. Oh, quite a, num quite a lot of authority, actually. So where do we go from here? Do we do we get this? And then we'll get then we'll have two spice fields. There's the center. Oh, and there's the smugglers over there. Yeah, there's the smugglers. That is them attacking as well. So their main seat should be over here, I would imagine. Anywhere. Yeah, we're going to take this over. Uh, 113 to do. We've got 227. It's just, just worth it. Having double harvester is going to be good. Chome shares have gone right up. Harkonnens have... Oh, no, they haven't bought any of the start for 15. Yeah, let's get this taken over. Would like to put some more militia on. Or at least some amount of militia. Any amount of militia. But we're so close to the home base, it seems a bit pointless. Pointless until we get attacked, you understand. Don't want to build any more there. Don't want to build any more there. This is going for a Plastcrete factory. I will put a militia there. Don't know what one will do. Yeah, both construction's complete. And we're attacking there pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It's a lot of attacks. And we'll take that over. Which again is going to give us that area. So we've got more Landstrid stuff. What's coming up is all factions will... Uh, infiltrations can't be lower than two. Non-faction infiltration levels. Elect authority gains authority. Uh, Elected faction gains authority. That's pretty good. Scientific Congress. All factions gain military development's completion speed by 50%. Alright. We've got 10 days left on the others. How are we on research? Oh, we're, yeah. Smashing through that. Excellent. So capturing this. That is going to be our second harvester. harvester. So that's good. Second harvester at this point is not too bad at all. We're on 2.2k, well, I'd say 2.3. Looks like 
the Harkonnens and the Smugglers are pretty much the same. Oh, we now just jumped up to 2.8. And the Harvester requires... Yes, it requires a refinery. Well, for a start, um, we can't build an airfield either. Well, I guess. Fuel cell. And... Do you want to place one here? Sandworm. Let's recall that. You can put it on auto recall. But I've not done so. Just because you get fewer few resources that way. So I managed to sort that out. Over here, want an airfield. We'll go for water. The tax will be in uh, stop shortly. I'm going to have to start stockpiling more though. Because we're due to pay some guild fees. I wouldn't say shortly but we're due to pay some guild fees. And there's another, there's a raid detected. Again, there'll be a siege right there. Not that we're too concerned with it though, <laughs> considering our defensive capabilities. Sandworm is still detected over there, so I can't redeploy that harvester. Yeah, that's going to be destroyed shortly. There we go. So we'll get that harvester deployed now. Obviously we're on minus 100 Solari. Good Plascrete though. And decent manpower. So we'll get some militia there. Max this out because it's the one that's going to be furthest away. And now that that's back, there we go. And there's the council vote. I think we'll go for extra authority production for us. We're going to put 250 votes into that. And non infiltration. I'm going to say no on military development. We don't want that. We really don't want that passing. So I'm actually going to go with maybe 220 on Imperial Propaganda. The other one, not really too bothered about. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of June Spice Wars. We've deployed the Imperial base, we've captured one, two, three, four bits of territory, and that includes two spice fields. We've bumped into the smugglers, and there is their siege. There is the Harkonnens. Good. These guys can fight each other all they want. And I'm going to guesstimate that the Fremen are around here. Good start, I think. We are on 2.8k. Which means we're still second <laughs> last. <laughs> but there's not much in it. The Harkonnens are really pushing forward. They're about 700 more than us. Okay. But as soon as we get another harvester up and running. Airfields, etc. I feel like that's a decent position to be in. Can't believe they're attacking that as well as smugglers. Hmm. Anyway, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of June Spice Wars. Hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. Hopefully you'll continue following on with the playthrough and let's see if we can pull out a win for this one. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.